Uh, I was born and raised Roman Catholic. Like okay, yeah, my family's okay. off the boat from Sicily and Calabria, Italy. Okay. So like that was received that, sacraments that's, that's, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah okay, and yeah. so grew up communion. You know, yeah, confirmation. Yeah, did all that. Uh, all kinds of church stuff, the holidays, uh, and. As I grew into my teens, young adult, first marriage, divorce, second marriage, divorce, like I went to Catholic high school, all boys Catholic high school. But as my life journey went on through all these stages, like Roman Catholicism just didn't make sense to me. It was too formal. It was too dogmatic. Um, it was too strict and structured. It just didn't make sense to me intuitively. I respected it and I respected how it gave my grandparents something stable to stay connected to. They grew up, most of them in poverty, like really tough conditions mm -hmm. in uh, small towns in, in um, Sicily and Calabria. So their faith was very strong and I respect it, always respected it. But for me, like having uh, a, a larger perspective and a, a whole different lens to see life through. As my journey went, I lost, I don't want to say all my faith because even in my worst, darkest times of loneliness and like despair um, and discouragement, I still found myself talking to God. Even though there were times I claimed, I, I don't believe, I don't think there is a God in those quietest, loneliest moments, I would be talking to God. So I'm like, all right, why am I doing this, right? And I never had an answer for myself. So back, dial back the clock, maybe eight or nine years ago, give or take, maybe seven, I don't know. Um, I had felt very disconnected, even though I still would have these light conversations. And then a, a a convergence of different factors in my life came together that basically just made me feel so broken down and uncertain and just hurting and lost. And I found myself in the middle of a field, like five in the morning doing my run, just in the middle of this field crying and talking with God. I'm like, all right, like, I get it. I need you. I'm talking to you. I'm open to you, right? And so the conversation went on. I went about my day, started going about my life. But that, that episode opened me up to realizing I'm talking directly to God. I don't, I don't need a religion per se. I don't need a building. I don't need priests, archbishops. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't need to go do various rituals. Um, I don't have to go to confession. I can confess directly, like directly, yeah. right? I don't need any middlemen. Um, so I started looking further into the origins of Christ, the story of Christ, the different gospels, uh, uh, um, John, uh, and everything started making more and more sense to me. Started talking to other people of faith, people who've been straight Christians for their lifetime, people who are newly Christian. Um, and the more and more I consumed all of this, the more it started to resonate with me and make a lot of sense to me. And that was really my re reconnection to the Lord and me realizing I I'm a Christian. Like everything I read now in the Bible, scriptures, various books and everything I hear, it all makes perfect sense. Whereas the Roman Catholicism and that upbringing didn't make sense to me. This direct relationship now makes all the sense. And ever since that episode, everything in my life started changing for the better. Everything, right? Oh, so, and, it, and it's not like, oh, everything's getting better, so I'm gonna keep doing it. No, like there was this inner peace 